Happy Halloween! So, for today's video, slightly different. I'm gonna be spooky. Want to be fun. Uh, so it's Halloween, as you can see, and I'm sorry if I'm posting really late. Um, but I just wanted, I've been doing lots and lots and lots of hands today and yesterday, and I'm on day two of the challenge. Um, will I get to 80 hands today? Probably not, but I'm trying. Um, but I want to do kind of a witch's themed hand for t today's illustration and watercolors. Um, I'm really excited for that. So I did this illustration today um, for today's video and I thought it turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm all coming up with hand concepts and themes that have hands in them. Um, here's another one. I think it's one of my favorites I've done so far. By the way, I learned how to paint hands. So I was very excited uh, for this video. So I've always wanted to paint hands and do all kinds of stuff uh, with them. But um, anyway, for this, for this one and this one, I had used my gold marker for the ink um, illustration. And so for this one, I'm going to play with the theme of kind of like a cold skin tone kind of like the feel of it so i kind of put the blue together purple together and actually like how this one turned out too one of my favorite um so kind of i'm gonna be on a spooky theme um today and i thought about doing three witches hands in a video but i don't want to copy somebody else i just did one um so this one which is a regular hand i was taking a skillshare class which helped me get this far. Um, this could stand to be a little bit curvy, but again, I was watching the class at the same time as doing this, but it could be a little curvy um, right here for the rest that goes in. Actually, I'm afraid to do it on camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways. There we go, kind of corrected. I can always go and white out or something, or just make it into a um background thing there we go so i can make sure but anyways i wasn't correcting that because that was bugsy but um another hand would be this one again i had used a uh marker effect for it so i'll quite cut and i'll play with different skin tones and different processes like if i feel like you know that's how i came up with that skin tone so you can see here how I'm able to get different effects with the hands. Like for this one I had done, for today's video I had done like a pinkish tone, reddish, orange tone for Halloween. Um, I didn't want to go um, cold or something but just play with warmer and cooler colors which is always fun. Um, I'm love learning. Um, so make sure. So I hope you can see the progress with these hands. Because before we would ask me, oh, if paint a hand or something, uh, I wouldn't have known how to do that, but now I do. I'm not trying to brag or anything. Um, but again, you practice with anatomy and everything like that. And so I took this new knowledge into Procreate. If I can get it open for you guys without giving my password away. So, let me put in my password. Uh, let's see. Whoops, okay. So, here I kind of want to go ahead with the spooky themed already. So, I kind of came up with the witch's hand um, for this one. So, kind of like a series type thing. I've always wanted to do a series of hands or something. And I know the anatomy is not great. Like, it needs to be more bent or something. But, 
I thought it turned out pretty good. If you want to have practice, really practice with hands, put an object with it, what they're saying, and then you're really getting challenging yourself. So I'm just challenging myself here with the other ones. So guys, if you like what you see here, uh, don't forget to like, comment, whoops, sorry guys, and, 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 whoops, oh my gosh, sorry guys, okay, there we go, and subscribe down below, um, turn on the no notification bell, you know the drill, and let's get on with the video if I can close my iPad, um, there we go. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I hope you like the drawings and everything like that. So, let's get on with the video. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So sorry, I've been posting videos kind of late, and it's been crazy busy during the daytime, so, um, yeah, anyway, so I'm trying to focus on the witch's hand and everything like that so i really don't have much else to say here so uh keep watching <laughs> so some tips i had learned when mixing colors and everything because i've been learning a lot about skin tone how you can mix colors not just feeling the witch's hat there um i was adding tattoos to the hand and which is a lot of fun um so for this one i mixed my colors and i'm putting the watercolor wet on wet uh, technique and for the sand and I was having a lot of fun with this uh, not gonna lie it was, it was uh, you know not really in my style per se because I was you know learning and I still need to learn how to stylize hands and everything that's down the road. Right now, I'm just trying to learn the basic structure and how to do finished illustrations of hands. So, and you see me there mixing the colors. I mixed red and orange together because if you just use the orange of the peach from the palette, uh, it's good, but it's not really lifelike, depending on what you're going for. Um, for this one, I'm using red and orange to give a reddish tone to it. Um, to make it like fiery and um, alive, I guess. But there's different colors you can do, I guess, from what you're aiming for or something. Um, so this one just wanted a different style than the ones I have shown you. Um, but and then in the end of the video, I had used a gold marker to add in the accents of the colors. I still would really want to get the um, gold. A watercolor paint that you know stand out on your paper. Oh my gosh, I would love to get those, but anyways, um, for this one, I was so excited, you know, just different experimenting with hands. Now, my hands can have things to them or something, or um, you know, because it's fun, and you know, maybe I could do one with plants or something, but that might give, I don't know, or um, maybe I could do one with cacti, but you know, again. It's just experimentation and, you know, having themes, but then obviously there's a Halloween theme because it's Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. I hope your story's great. Uh, mine was okay. I guess could be a little better, but, uh, that was okay. Um, but anyways, um, we had chili tonight. We usually have chili every Halloween and mom makes the best chili. So we had that tonight. Um, try and think what else, how we, oh, we made this, um, how, well, mom and dad made this, um, Halloween candy shooter, cause, uh, because it is, uh, coronavirus going around and everything, so, I'm trying to tailor it to that, but, anyways, I'm doing a bad job describing it, but it turned out pretty cool, um, so, anyways, so I really don't have much else to say here, but I was adding the redness to, the blush and everything like that to make it more uh, shadowy. Then I could have added shadows to it, I think I did. Um, or, and I think I'll try to do that there, but then I forgot to add the purple tones to it or something, or maybe I have or um, for it. So, I hope you guys like this video. Kind of a different style that I'm aiming for, like kind of semi realistic um, and everything. So, 
basically I had a lot of fun. I really don't have much else to say here. Uh, if you like what you see here, I mean, I keep saying it throughout the video, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so sorry my videos are coming out later in the day. I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, but at least I have a video, right? Um, so if you have any suggestions or how I can get better at hand, Skillshare has been awesome when it comes to hand anatomy and the hand um, drawing. They've been breaking things down into shapes, and it's just it makes sense and you know knowing when I started the challenge um, I think I started a few days ago or yesterday or something um, I was, I thought I was done then but I forgot to do the leaves so um, <laughs> we're adding the leaves there so uh, there we go so if you like what you see here don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching bye guys so I totally forgot the best part of the drawing and we're about to add the gold decoration to the hand and everything like that in a second. I'm just finishing up adding shadows to it and yeah. So anyways, um, we're about to add the gold marker to it. So I'm really excited about this one and yeah, just a little decoration at the end of the hand. Um, so yeah, anyways, if I, I mean, I keep saying it, oh my gosh, sorry guys, we're going back right here. Um, uh, I was adding the leaves at the bottom, um, for more decoration, and I kind of like how this turned out, so thank you for watching, bye guys.